Hello guys, Lemming Guy here. I'm here to talk about which screen recorder is better out of Fraps, DX Story, and Bandicam. Uh, doing comparison of the three. Uh, let's get straight into it. I'll start off with Fraps. Now to test this, I use the game Chivalry Medieval Warfare, uh, one of my favourite games ever of all time, even though it's buggy. Uh, I recorded a 30 second clip of Chivalry Medieval Warfare with each screen recorder uh, to get file size and the performance hit, which is the two really main things. Oh, and quality as well, but yeah, they don't really matter. <laughs> when, you're uploading, uh, when you're uploading to YouTube, uh, YouTube kills the quality anyway, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, Fraps. Everybody knows what Fraps is because it was, I think it was one of the earliest video uh, screen recorders for games there was. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much when everyone thinks of a screen recorder, the first one uh, comes into everyone says it's Fraps. Why? Uh, I'm struggling to find out why. It's Fraps has the best quality out of the two, uh, out of the three, I mean. Uh, but the trade off for the really good quality is a really high file size. Uh, my 30. Second clip of Chivalry was um, one gig, well, just a little bit over one gig, which is huge. Uh, the performance that I was getting 50 frames per second, round about, uh, before recording, and it went down to about 25. That's a 50% hit on my performance. Uh, and my specs will be listed in the description below, so I don't have to go over them. So, yeah, main, mainly because uh, it's transferring such a large amount of data, it's flipping, yeah, because I've recording it, I was recording it to the same hard drive I was playing the game from. Uh, with Fraps, it's not recommended to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it was taxing my CPU horrendously trying to get everything onto that hard drive, which is also quite old and horrible. But yeah, but what you see is what you get when you record with Fraps, essentially. Uh, you can't, there's not really very many options that much. You can also use this bench, benchmarking tool, the other two don't have that. Uh, you can do multiple sound inputs, which is pretty good. Uh, it records better with DirectX 11 games slightly, I found. Because uh, Shivery is DirectX 9. I think all of them do that actually, all of them record better with uh, DirectX 11. But the problem with large file sizes, especially for YouTube, is you would either have to heavily compress it later on, which would again reduce your quality, or try going to YouTube, which would take days. And at the end of it, it would have reduced the quality anyway to fit on, well, to fit it onto uh, YouTube's hard drive. I think there's a file size limit on YouTube. I don't know, but yeah, the high quality you get if you want to upload it to YouTube is pointless. By the way, the uh, price fraps is thirty-seven dollars US. Uh, it's the second most expensive one out of all of them. DX Story. Uh, it's three thousand six hundred Japanese yen. Which is about, well, depending on exchange rates, in between usually 34 and 35 US dollars. So it's the cheapest one out of all of them. And it has the most settings. It's got a billion, bazillion settings. And you can set up profiles for different games. So if you play different games lots, you can have settings for each of those individual games, which is actually quite a nice feature. Uh, recording size on 30 seconds of Chivalry was 800 meg. I actually had issues getting it to work with Chivalry at first. <laughs> it refused to, well, it refused to work and then it would record all stuttery. I finally had to well, sort out the settings a bit more and yes, it worked. But yes, there's a billion settings in that thing. You can record many, many codecs. Uh, you can have up to eight audio channels, which is a lot. The other two only have uh, two audio channels, which is like you can record your microphone or your game audio. Also, the different codecs that uh, DX Story gives you. Uh, give different sizes, but I was using default codec, as same for Fraps, I was using default codec, and it got 800 meg, uh, made an 800 meg file, yeah. Performance hit, uh, similar to Fraps really, well, I pushed record when I finally got to work, and the first 5 seconds it was crawling at about 5 frames per second, before it went up in between 30 to 40, no, I didn't really reach 30, I didn't reach 40 really. So yeah, mostly hanging around 30, so not as bad as Fraps, but still quite a hit from the original 50 I was getting. Uh, you can also compress it a bit more than Fraps as well, you can tick a box and compress it. But it looks quite bad, the compression, and you also get a bigger performance hit. So yeah, the way that they do the extra compression isn't that great. So yeah. But you can specify different levels of quality uh, if you want to change your file size, but then again, lower quality. Worse file, uh, worse, um, 
Well, it makes it look bad, really. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite configurable. You can do a heck of a lot of stuff. I, I don't even know what half the flipping settings do. Uh, there's so many. <laughs> but yeah, uh, also, I don't think I've told you, but I'm recording all of these in 1080, so uh, 1920 by 1080. It's full screen resolution for your yeah, average screen. Another great thing about uh, you can rec well about um, DX stories you can record in one resolution and play in a different resolution. You, with Fraps, you have to record and play in the same resolution. Uh, so yeah, that's another great thing. For example, if you only want, only want to do a 720 video but you want to play in 1080, you can do that. <laughs> so you can play in 1080, but the end video will be only in 720, which is good for YouTube. Again. 720 on YouTube is still good enough. <laughs> Bandicam. Uh, one thing that Bandicam can do that uh, Fraps and DX Story can't do is you record the run. You can just record um, your window. You just your screen. You don't have to record a game. With the other two, you have to record a game. Although with Fraps, you can use external programs to kind of record the um, window. But yeah. But with Bandicam, you can just record in a window, so you can record a portion of your screen, so you can record tutorials and stuff like that. Uh, Bandicam recording chivalry, 30 seconds. The file size ended up as 117 megabytes. That's pretty much 10 times smaller than what Fraps did. And the quality isn't that bad on the default settings. You can actually up the quality with, with up the file size. I think it was on 80% quality, which is the default setting, putting up to 100% quality. Doubles the file, uh, yeah, pretty much doubles the file size, but still, that's way smaller than Fraps. Uh, yeah, so you can get really, really, really small files, which is great for YouTube anyway, because the end video of Fraps and YouTube looks pretty much the same. So yeah, but you can record in the um, same codecs as Fraps if you want to, so you can have exactly the same Fraps recording, but in Bandicam, which is great. <laughs> Bandicam does what Fraps does, but better. Well, and more. Performance hit wise on Chivalry, it's uh, went down from 50 to about 40. Uh, sometimes back all up to 45. Uh, as the game goes on, the game lags with ragdolls and stuff. But yeah, it didn't drop at all very much. And on DirectX 11 games, it drops even less because it's far more, far more better. That's good English. It's way, it works way better on DirectX 11 games, Chivalry being DirectX 9. Bandicam also features uh, hardware acceleration, which uses extra bits of your hardware, set, well, pretty much your graphics card, to further optimize your recordings, uh, giving better performance, better quality, or be, uh, better performance, lower file size, and better quality. Uh, so, yeah, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card that does specifications, uh, Intel CPU with integrated graphics, or an AMD graphics card that does uh, specifications, you can do that. I'm using the Intel. One, since my graphics card doesn't support it, which is the Intel QuickSync, uh, which even further increases performance. Uh, for that particular recording, I didn't use it because my computer has the tendency to disable the integrated graphics card, <laughs> which uh, turns Intel QuickSync off for me. So yeah, I didn't record it with that on. But yeah, that's there. It's pretty much new, actually. It came in an update the end of last year, so yeah. The great thing with Bandicam, it updates with new features. I mean, Frats was last updated last year. Uh, DX Story updates only do bug fixes, although they're quite frequent. Bandicam patches and updates do bug fixes and new features. Also, they have great support. On their forums, the Bandisoft team, Bandisoft is the developer of Bandicam, they will every single day answer questions if you have problems. And they will usually fix the problem. If they can't, they will ask for information. And then in the next patch, they will often fix the problem, which is great. They have a very active and diligent development team that uh, takes care of its community. Pretty much. <laughs> also, two things they have planned. Um, they plan to have support more audio uh, inputs. At, at the moment, they only support two, and people want at least three. So yeah, in the future, they'll put more of those in. Uh, also, they'll also update the UI, because the UI looks pretty damn crap out of all of them. <laughs> it's simple. It looks like it's from 1995. <laughs> Even though this was made, uh, I forgot, it was made in 2010, I think? I don't even know. Uh, Bandicam costs 39 bucks. That's the most expensive one, but they also boast to me the most high-tech one. And by the looks of things, uh, they seem to be the most advanced desktop video game capture, screen capture thing program on the planet. Uh, yeah. 
So, the best out of the three. Well, I can tell you the worst out of three is, drum roll, uh, I don't actually do one without breaking something, is Fraps. Um, yes, Fraps comes in third because DX Story and Bandicam can do what Fraps does and more, or just better. Uh, I think the only thing that Fraps does that the other two don't is it also works as a benchmarking tool, a basic benchmarking tool. But the free version of Fraps, you can do the benchmarking stuff. So yeah, you can get the free version of Fraps to do your benchmarking if you want. Which is only really simple stuff anyway, not proper like 3D Mark stuff. But yeah, you use from the other two. Uh, DX3 and Bandicam. Uh, depends, really. DX3, if you have a good computer with multiple hard drives, I would get... And uh, yeah, I would get DX Story if you have a really good computer with lo uh, multiple hard drives. DX Story is pretty much the one for you. It has tons of settings, great quality. Yeah, so yeah, if you have a super duper computer and a great internet speed, DX Story is the one for you. If you're not like that, uh, Bandicam. Bandicam is great. Uh, also, has a bunch of fl bunch of flexibility. Uh, not as very much, not as much settings, but you can get great flexibility in quality and file size. Uh, great support. So if you're not, if you get stuck or run into problems, just head to the forums, post the question there. You, you either get answered by someone in the community or by Bandisoft themselves. Uh, Bandisoft also has a bunch of other software as well. You can get. <laughs> so there isn't really a winner between DX Story and Fraps. It depends really on your computer and your internet speed unless you do want to compress using uh, compress externally with dx story because uh, it is what f about four or five dollars cheaper than bandicam uh but yeah that doesn't mean much i bought bandicam pretty much because when i first looking for a screen recorder i did the comparisons with all the free versions ages ago i think the last year or something and for me bandicam was great while fraps which everyone uses is piece of crap it really is horrible, like compared to everything else. I don't see why people use it. Uh, there's, the, there's the Fraps fanboys that try to um, say, ah, oh, Fraps better than anything. But then DX Story is like the same but better. Because, yeah, and also with Bandicam, you can get the same quality if you want to. If you want to, yeah. <laughs> I don't see why people get Fraps. Because uh, Fraps, kind of, Fraps is kind of old now. Uh, it's not keeping up with new technology. I mean, look, look at the Fraps website. I mean, it's advertising the original Far Cry, the original World of Warcraft <laughs> for its um, videos. Yeah, it was last updated a whole year ago. So yeah, that's my uh, video between Fraps, DX Story, and Bandicam. I hope this helped you. I'm probably get all these dislikes from the people who have Fraps. I bet you. That's all the dislikes in the video will be people who have Fraps. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm that guy. I'm not biased. I'll see you next time.